us try to find out the value of pi. We know that pi is 3.141592 and so on. It is also approximated as 22 by 7 and it is widely called as mathematical constant. Now let us try to find out how the value of 3.14 or 22 by 7 is derived. For this purpose, let us try to understand what exactly is pi. So in mathematics, pi is defined as the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter. So this is the formula. So pi is nothing but circumference of a circle divided by its diameter. So let's do an activity and try to find out the value of pi. So for that purpose, I use the following things. The first one, a solid shape which represents a circle, a ruler to measure the circumference as well as diameter and a thread. Now let us start the activity. So at first, my aim is to find the circumference of this circle. So this particular plastic solid shape represents a circle. So what I do is I just draw the outline of this shape. Now I get a complete circle. So this is the circle and now I want to find the diameter of the circle. So to find the diameter, I need to divide the circle into two equal halves, right? So a diameter is a line which divides the circle into two equal halves, right? To measure this diameter accurately, I have cut a circle in the similar shape. Now what I do is I fold the circle into two equal, I will fold it into two so that I will get the diameter accurately. So now this is a symmetrical shape. Now if I just open the circle, now if I find the length of this line, I get the diameter. So it will be accurate. So if you carefully observe, the diameter is 9.4. The diameter is 9.4. So this is the diameter. This uh, circle is similar, therefore the diameter of this circle is 9.4 centimeter. Now, <coughs> I will try to find the circumference of the circle. For this purpose, I use a piece of thread and I try to wind it around this plastic solid shape. Before that, I just stick it with the help of a tape so that it will not come off. So I just wind it without stretching the thread and I end up here. Now I just put a mark for the sake of measurement. Now I remove this and measure the length of the thread using a ruler. Remember the length of the thread is nothing but the boundary of the circle which is the circumference. Circumference is nothing but the boundary of the circle. So if I measure accurately I get 29.6 29.6 here is a blue mark so the length of the thread is 29.6 therefore I can say the circumference is 29.6 centimeter remember circumference is the length of the curve of the circle so if I start from here the entire length of this curve ending here is a circumference right now I simply divide the circumference by diameter to arrive at the value of pi so here circumference is 29.6 and the diameter is 9.4 if I calculate using a calculator 29.6 divided by 9.4 here it is I get 3.1489 which is approximately the value of pi so in this way we can derive the value of pi. Interesting to note is all the circles of different sizes will have same ratio that is the circumference by diameter of any circle will give you 3.14. I hope you understood the video. Thank you so much.